when I had my first encounter, I trained greyhounds and Appen is just south of Campbelltown. And basically something screamed and yelled and roared with something that had a chest at least the size of Andre the Giant, an old wrestler from back in the 80s and 70s. And it actually ripped a 20-foot tree out of the ground and you could hear the the roots in the ground cracking and then it ran through the bush and it was like a sledgehammer hitting the ground. So that's what got me onto Yowies. Before that, it was just a dream time story like everyone else. Basically, most of the people that get into doing Yowie and like researching like myself have had either an encounter or a sighting. And when I was at Glenbrook, I actually saw a small Junjadi about four foot tall, if maybe that. And I saw him face to face looking at me and all the goosebumps went on me. And then I'll just, I remember saying to myself, they're hundred percent real. And that was it. I've been spurred on ever since. What's a, what's a Jun Juddy? They're it's like a small type Yowie creature and they're only about four foot high maximum. Most times people say they're about three and a half foot tall. It looks like a little kid dressed up in a, in, a, in like a gorilla suit. But yeah, yeah big black eyes, like a, bluey gray skin, basically a Yowie just like in midget form. So so you're can you're absolutely sure you saw a huge gorilla looking humanoid thing uh, that day ripping something out of the ground. You convinced without I, a doubt. I didn't see it, but the noise that it made, nothing there's no human I know that could make it. It wasn't a dog, it wasn't a big cat, it wasn't anything from like a, a loudspeaker. And that part of the bush at the time, it was thick bush. So I don't know nothing that can rip out a tree that's about 20 meters tall with you know, huge roots So and then run away. So that was my first like intro into Yowies. But then when I saw the small one, yeah, 100% convinced. Right. And so, what? <laughs> I mean, how do people take it when you, when you say something like this? I, I imagine most people are like, oh, come on, mate, what are you talking about? That's a bit ridiculous. But how, how do you explain it to people? Do you bother trying to convince people or is it just sort of, listen, if you, you, know, if you believe me, great. If not, whatever. Do you have much, I guess, do you have any evidence for the, for the layman? Do, do you have anything that people can watch, listen to, view that can actually convince people that what you uh, propose is, is out there is real? Yes, well, all my friends or my family know my name's Yowie Dan, so I, I'm out there. I don't hide away from it. Uh, I don't try to convince anyone. I just say to people, if you don't, um, if you're not sure or don't think it's real, spend a night out in the bush with me, with an area I know that's active, and then once you know you spend that night out, you can make your own mind up. I, I, know, I don't push anyone into it. I like I'm into it. I enjoy researching them. If someone doesn't believe in into them, that's that they're, they're free to say that you know that, yeah. that I'm not there to push anyone into believing something that I believe right so what happens out in the bush when when people when you go out there so you pack the car up you know what happens when you enter you enter a particular place is it just anywhere that works or it has to be as you said uh, active how do you find an area that's active is there like a group of people that you uh, relay information to and how does that how does that work uh, basically what I do, I, I do go into the AYR forums and places where you can see, uh, some places that have, have had a really good history of sightings and weird things happening. Um, sometimes it's just a guess, but a lot of times I'll go into the blue mountains and I'll set up some little sound recorders and they'll be way off trail. And then you'll hear wood knocks and some things happening, like things will walk up and you can tell it's bipedal. It's not like a wombat or something walking around. You can tell it's on two legs. So I get a little bit of information from here and there, make a, uh, you know, like a, what can you say, an educated guess. Um, but other times people will ring me up and say, hey, I was out here last night. Come out. There's all this stuff was happening. So, all right, let's go. So the next weekend we're over there and we're looking around. 